The Now Habit by Neil Fiore explores techniques to overcome procrastination and foster a more productive mindset. The core idea revolves around addressing the underlying psychological reasons for procrastination rather than simply treating its symptoms. Fiore advocates for understanding the root causes of procrastination, which often stem from issues like fear of failure, perfectionism, and low self-esteem. One of the central concepts is the distinction between work and guilt-free play. Fiore suggests scheduling guilt-free play in intervals, allowing individuals to work without the pressure of an impending deadline, thereby reducing the tendency to procrastinate. He emphasizes taking control of one's time and creating a positive relationship with work, fostering a sense of autonomy and self-direction. Fiore also introduces the idea of unschedule, a planning tool that encourages individuals to schedule recreational and rejuvenating activities first, effectively carving out time for personal well-being and then fitting work around those commitments. This approach aims to reshape one's perspective on time and work reducing the anxiety and pressure associated with tasks. Additionally, the book delves into the importance of overcoming the try-harder mentality and instead encourages fostering a mindset of persistence without self-criticism. Fiore suggests embracing small, manageable steps and focusing on progress rather than perfection, which can help alleviate the stress and anxiety often associated with starting and completing tasks. In interpreting Fiore's message, it's evident that he aims to address the psychological barriers that lead to procrastination, advocating for a fundamental shift in mindset and habits. He promotes the idea that by understanding the psychological roots of procrastination and implementing practical strategies, individuals can break free from the cycle of avoidance and increase productivity. Fiore's approach isn't solely about time management but rather about managing one's emotional and psychological relationship with work. By prioritizing self-care, play, and understanding the reasons behind procrastination, the book presents a holistic method for fostering a healthier, more productive approach to work and life. Ultimately, Fiore's emphasis on changing one's mindset and approach to work appears to offer a more sustainable and comprehensive solution to procrastination rather than focusing solely on time management techniques. 7 Lessons Learned from the Now Habit by Neil Fiore Understanding Procrastination's Roots Fiore emphasizes that procrastination often stems from psychological factors like fear of failure, perfectionism, or low self-esteem. By understanding these roots, individuals can better address and overcome procrastination. Guilt-free play and work. The concept of scheduling guilt-free play prior to work allows for a more relaxed approach to tasks, reducing the pressure of impending deadlines and fostering a healthier relationship with work. The unschedule technique. The unscheduled technique prioritizes personal well-being by scheduling rejuvenating activities first, then fitting work around these commitments. This approach helps reshape one's perspective on time and tasks. Overcoming the try-harder mentality. Fiore suggests shifting from a mindset of trying harder to one of persistent, non-self-critical action. Embracing small manageable steps and focusing on progress over perfection helps alleviate stress and anxiety. Changing the perception of time. The book encourages a shift in how time is viewed, from a limited resource controlled by external demands to a tool for personal empowerment and self-direction. Work without pressure. By creating a positive relationship with work and viewing it as a choice rather than a demand, Individuals can reduce stress and anxiety, making tasks more approachable and manageable. Holistic Approach to Productivity Fiore's approach isn't solely about time management but focuses on managing emotions and psychological connections with work. It promotes a more holistic and sustainable way of increasing productivity and reducing procrastination. These lessons collectively offer a comprehensive strategy for combating procrastination by addressing its psychological roots, altering perspectives on time and work, and fostering a healthier approach to task management and productivity. Certainly, 
Here is a comprehensive chapter-wise breakdown of the key points and insights from Neil Fiore's The Now Habit. Chapter 1, Procrastination, The Ten Characteristics Fiore introduces the ten characteristics of procrastination, emphasizing that it's a learned behavior, not an inherent trait. He delves into the psychological factors contributing to procrastination, such as fear of failure, perfectionism, and low self-esteem. Chapter 2, The Unschedule, A Radical New Approach to Scheduling Introducing the unschedule, Fiore explains how to prioritize guilt-free play, which counteracts the traditional scheduling methods and diminishes the pressure associated with work. The unschedule technique encourages individuals to allocate time for personal rejuvenation and non-work-related activities as a priority. Chapter 3, The Roots of Procrastination Fiore digs deeper into the psychological roots of procrastination, explaining how a lack of structure and autonomy can lead to avoidance behavior. He emphasizes that addressing these underlying issues is crucial for changing the habit of procrastination. Chapter 4, Guilt-Free Play, Defeating the Work Ethic The concept of guilt-free play is explored further, stressing its importance in fostering a more relaxed and effective approach to work. Fiore highlights the idea that by allowing oneself guilt-free play, individuals can reshape their relationship with work and reduce the pressure associated with tasks. Chapter 5, Resistance, The War of Art Fiore addresses resistance and the try-harder mentality, encouraging a shift from self-critical thoughts to persistent action without self-condemnation. He focuses on the significance of breaking tasks into manageable steps and celebrating progress rather than aiming for perfection. Chapter 6, Time, Friend or Foe? Time management is discussed from a different perspective, encouraging readers to view time not as a limited resource controlled by external demands, but as a tool for personal empowerment. Fiore offers insights on changing perceptions of time shifting from being controlled by it to utilizing it for personal growth and fulfillment. Chapter 7, Work, Choosing What You Want This chapter centers on creating a positive relationship with work, framing it as a choice rather than an obligation. Fiori advocates for approaching work without pressure, enhancing productivity by reducing stress and anxiety associated with tasks. Chapter 8, Self-Reward Making Work Play The importance of self-reward and positive reinforcement is highlighted. Fiore explains how to transform work into a more enjoyable, rewarding activity by incorporating elements of play and self-reward. Chapter 9, The New Life, Becoming More of Who You Are Fiore concludes by discussing a holistic approach to personal growth, emphasizing the transformation from a procrastinator to a more self-directed, fulfilled individual. He reiterates the significance of addressing the root causes of procrastination and reshaping one's mindset for sustainable change. This breakdown highlights the key concepts and insights from each chapter, offering a comprehensive understanding of the book's content and the strategies Fiori presents to overcome procrastination. Dive deeper into the profound insights of the now habit by Neil Fiore. A Transformative Guide to Overcoming Procrastination and Fostering a More Productive Mindset. This summary only scratches the surface of the invaluable strategies and mindset shifts within the book. If you're intrigued by the concepts discussed here, consider delving into the complete work to unlock the full spectrum of Fiore's wisdom. Click the link in the description to get your own copy and embark on a journey towards reclaiming control of your time and productivity. If you found this summary insightful, don't keep it to yourself. Like and share this content with friends and fellow book enthusiasts who might benefit from Fiore's strategies. Subscribe to our channel for more enriching book summaries in this genre, empowering you with condensed wisdom from remarkable literary works. Join us on this journey of continuous learning and personal growth.
The now habit by Neil Fiore stands out in the realm of productivity and self-help literature due to its focus on addressing the psychological roots of procrastination and its holistic approach to fostering a healthier relationship with work. Several distinguishing features set this book apart from others in its genre. Psychological Emphasis Unlike many productivity books that primarily focus on time management techniques, Fiore delves deeply into the psychological aspects underlying procrastination. He emphasizes understanding the emotional and psychological triggers behind procrastination. For instance, he states, procrastination is a mechanism for coping with the anxiety associated with starting or completing any task or decision. This psychological depth sets his approach apart. Guilt-free play, Fiore introduces the concept of guilt-free play a technique that differs significantly from traditional productivity methodologies. He encourages scheduling enjoyable activities before work, as he says, guilt-free play helps restore our intrinsic motivation to work. This approach challenges the conventional wisdom of working first and playing later. The Unschedule Technique Fiore's Unschedule Technique is a unique approach to planning, prioritizing personal rejuvenation over work commitments. He explains, by reversing the order and scheduling our play first, we begin with the end in mind. This method deviates from conventional scheduling methods by prioritizing personal well-being. Shift in Mindset The book focuses on a fundamental shift in mindset, advocating for progress over perfection. Fiore notes, start with the small steps that lead to bigger successes and focus on the progress you make rather than the perfect job you must perform. This emphasis on progress without self-criticism distinguishes it from approaches fixated on achieving flawless outcomes. Empowerment and Autonomy Fiore advocates for a sense of empowerment and autonomy over one's time and work. He stresses, by replacing shoulds with choices, we reclaim our ability to feel good about our work. This emphasis on personal choice and autonomy contrasts with more rigid, prescriptive productivity systems. These unique elements in the now habit offer a more comprehensive and psychologically rooted approach to overcoming procrastination and enhancing productivity, distinguishing it from other books in the same category that predominantly focus on time management techniques or quick fixes. In the realm of productivity and overcoming procrastination, Neil Fiore's The Now Habit stands out for its emphasis on psychological understanding and its unconventional strategies. Comparing it to other books in the same genre or by the same author. Comparisons to other books in the genre. Getting Things Done by David Allen, while both books address productivity, Getting Things Done primarily focuses on practical organizational systems. In contrast, the Now Habit delves deeply into the psychological roots of procrastination and emphasizes changing one's relationship with work rather than just offering organizational strategies. Atomic Habits by James Clear Atomic Habits emphasizes small, incremental changes to build good habits. Fiore's book, on the other hand, focuses more on the psychological aspects of procrastination and changing the mindset towards work rather than habit formation. Comparison to other books by Neil Fiore Awaken Your Strongest Self Fiore's book Awaken Your Strongest Self touches on similar themes of self-improvement but focuses on broader personal development rather than specifically addressing procrastination. It explores creating a more fulfilling life but doesn't delve into procrastination in the depth found in the now habit. What makes the now habit unique? Fiore's unique approach in the now habit lies in its deep psychological exploration of procrastination and the emphasis on guilt-free play, autonomy, and a fundamental shift in mindset. While other books in the genre often concentrate on productivity hacks or habit formation, the now habit stands out for its holistic approach, addressing the emotional roots of procrastination and advocating a more balanced relationship with work through self-care and play. This book's distinctiveness lies in its encouragement of understanding and transforming the emotional and psychological barriers to productivity, making it a valuable resource for those seeking a more comprehensive approach to overcoming procrastination.
The Now Habit by Neil Fiore appeals to a broad spectrum of individuals facing challenges related to procrastination, work-related stress, and a desire for more balanced and fulfilling lives. This book is particularly relevant for professionals and students. It resonates with professionals and students dealing with work-related stress, academic pressures, and looming deadlines. Fiore's approach offers strategies to overcome procrastination, fostering a more productive and less stressful work or study environment. Entrepreneurs and creatives, those pursuing entrepreneurial ventures or engaged in creative fields often face self-imposed deadlines and pressures. The book's emphasis on guilt-free play and a positive relationship with work resonates with these individuals, helping them navigate the challenges of self-motivation and productivity. Individuals seeking work-life balance, for those struggling with maintaining a healthy work-life balance, Fiori's strategies around prioritizing personal well-being, shifting mindsets about time, and fostering a more relaxed approach to work can be highly appealing. People Dealing with Perfectionism or Low Self-Esteem The book addresses the root causes of procrastination, such as perfectionism and low self-esteem. It provides techniques to overcome these psychological barriers, making it relevant for individuals aiming to break free from these patterns. Individuals in transition or seeking personal growth People going through life transitions or seeking personal growth can find the book relevant. Its focus on transforming habits, understanding the psychology of procrastination, and reshaping one's relationship with work can assist in personal development and transitions. The Now Habit is appealing to anyone seeking a comprehensive approach to tackle procrastination and work-related stress, promoting a more balanced, fulfilling, and productive life. Its strategies resonate with individuals facing a wide array of challenges and seeking to enhance their approach to work and life. The Now Habit by Neil Fiore transcends conventional productivity guides by offering a profound understanding of the psychological roots of procrastination. Its impact lies in its ability to empower individuals to break free from the cycle of avoidance and stress. By fostering a more relaxed, guilt-free approach to work and emphasizing the importance of play, autonomy, and a shift in mindset, Fiore's book becomes a catalyst for personal transformation. Its significance lies not just in offering strategies to manage time but in reshaping our emotional and psychological relationship with work. The book's teachings transcend mere productivity advice, touching on fundamental aspects of human behavior, self-esteem, and personal fulfillment. Through its unique perspective, the Now Habit not only equips individuals with tools to conquer procrastination but also guides them towards a more balanced and rewarding way of living and working. It stands as a beacon of hope for those seeking a more fulfilling, stress-free, and productive life. Absolutely, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the summary I provided for the Now Habit by Neil Fiore. Does it capture the essence of the book effectively? Is there anything specific you found particularly insightful or anything you feel could be further emphasized? Your feedback will truly help refine the approach and ensure the summary reflects the unique aspects of this transformative book.